You don't scare me. You don't scare me at all. All right. Uh, still trying to see if he's uh, the buddy is jumping in. Um, I don't know if I can invite people from Steam now for this game. Let me check. Uh, friends and chat in main menu. Invite to play. Let's see if that works. And as you know, now what we do on the first day, we try to find a cave. And the caves have always been... Uh, no, not always. I, I have no idea, actually. Alright, so we're not going to craft anything. And we're going to go... Well, we're going to grab a few rocks for sure. And sticks when we see them. And we're gonna go look for the cave. Or actually, we could wait for Buddy. Oh no, it's multiplayer, so it's just gonna start going. We could follow the shoreline. Follow. We wanna grab some rocks and sticks, but we wanna try to find the cave. Because it's annoying when the cave is very far. And I'll have to guide my buddy to find me if I find a cave and I'm very far away. Buddy guy. Buddy guy man sir. Buddy sir man dude. Axe. Oh. Yeah. oh. Hello? I need a password. Oh, tabarnak, ça fait peur. <laughs> so, fucking hell. That was right in my ears. <laughs> so scary. Right. The password is uh, one of my favorite MTG tribes. Predominantly in blue. And the first part of their word is the word C in French. Sea as in looking or as an ocean? As an ocean. Oh, ta voix est vraiment clair là, compared to before. Your voice is. Yeah, I know. Clear. I don't know why. It's nice. We got a bunch of updates on, uh, on Discord. No, for real, uh, send it to Messenger. I have no clue. Bella. The favorite MTG tribe. Um, okay. I'm going to change a bit of settings. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, Can you can you do a uh uh more. Okay. What? So All right, I think I'm in. Oh, <laughs> Join. Okay. Yeah, so I looked at a little bit of tutorials on how in general the game works, but I have no clue where to click and what to do. Cool. So uh, it's not that uh, complicated, so you'll be fine. Um, I'm going to reduce your voice a bit more. All right. Also, I'm cooking supper for my kids, so I'll Are you probably kids log there? out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. she, she's, she's looking at, uh, what is it, Minecraft videos on YouTube, you so uh, kind of bored. Yeah. Ooh, there's an intro video. Whoa. Ouch. Popping in and saying hi, hello, Zog. Zog Nale. Thanks for coming. Oh, we found the bear. We just just starting. It's my friend's uh, first time playing. So we're starting a two-player map. He's watching the intro video right now. 
Oh, uh, we're not doing the map. Uh, you were playing with the uh, with the other dude. No, no, because we're pretty far ahead, and it's not the best designed map. And that way, you get to to start. Let me know when you're done uh, with the video. Yep, I am next to the boat. Okay, so if you press M, you see on the map where I am. Oh damn. At the moment, I'm looking for the cave, simply because the cave has the iron, and if it's far from your home base, it's super fucking annoying. So it could take a full, it could take a full in-game day to find it, but it pays off a lot. So you can try to catch up to me if you want. Uh, when you press Z, you scan around. And you'll see um, the resources. I recommend you gather some stone and stick and flax while you walk around. And of course, uh, any food that you come across. You can start to make tools if you want. And you might run into enemies, but you can probably outrun all of them. Uh, if you die... It's going to be a bit annoying. You're going to respawn at the boat. So pay attention and uh, you should be fine. But some some bosses are already on the map and a bit annoying. Yep. And then when we find a cave, if you, if you go around and you press Z, the cave would be like a giant mound of rocks. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so if you find it, you can let me know. Bottom left is food and water and temperature. Yeah, that would. I got it. The temperature, you don't need to worry about that for now because yeah, we're at the injury. spring. Uh, the water will go down if you find berries. You will uh, and eat them. That gives you some water, and you also have um, the water pouch. Yeah, it's almost full. Yeah, and um, you can replenish them, the, the water, you can replenish that when you find rocks that gather water on the ground. If you press Z, you'll find one. It's yeah, pretty tingles. easy. And you press R to harvest stuff. I'm like at Stone Edge. Oh yeah, I saw that too. Oh, you found another one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, careful. There was a bear around there, so be careful. Uh, I'm still looking for the fucking map. Cool. Oh. Looking uh, forward to playing with you, man. Yeah. It'd be nice to have everybody on the same map, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, if um, if Francis this jumps in. And, yeah, if this one gets better. Well, the other part, we were still new. And, um, okay, I found the wolf then. That's pretty good, but we want to avoid that for now. Because they can gang you and, and just fuck you up. Uh, but, yeah, we were far from uh, a cave on our first playthrough, so we would have had to re relocate anyways. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you won't mind. Hopefully. <laughs> Any, anything to make the game better <laughs> yeah absolutely like my first playthrough i had to uh, move my town back to uh, uh, up to a cave that i found it was really far like almost a day of walk and i tried to move everything and make my um, villagers move it during winter and they all died like one by one uh... hey zog stream and zog nolly are you guys um, a crew thanks for stopping by First time around. Is that a guild? Z-O-G? Your stream name? I can't tell if I met you on the Discord or if it's uh, when I came on your stream and you had lost all your stuff. Uh. Nolly and stream. Yeah, there was a bug. Uh, it's still early access, eh? So. This game is fine. <laughs> Can be bad as a... Uh... New World. As bad as New World. I mean, that one was really fucked up at launch. So I've heard, and you were playing on launch. Yeah, it was amazing, but like too many... 
too many little details and too much old school mechanics or realism. Well, no, there were too many new ones and too many ways to, you know, uh, avoid some of the mechanics and makes you go into a dead end afterwards and then oh, know, that's like, fucking annoying. Yeah. Not not that you were stuck and had to restart, but just like you had to go around and redo everything you already did and uh. Where are you going, man? You're like, I'm looking for the cave, <laughs> bro. Like my for my solo game, it took like a full day and night and another in-game day to find the cave. It was so long. Ooh, I found a. Uh... Oh no, a fire dude. Oh yeah, I run. <laughs> ah, okay, you guys were streaming at the same time. That's when I popped up. Cool. I she. Well, thanks for jumping in. Uh, okay, zombies, wisps. I didn't make a club. I don't want to fight them. Can I make a real quick club? No. I mean, I could make stuff if I took my time, but... Is it dangerous if I AFK for like two minutes? Um, if you... Oh, no, you cannot... I don't have a camp or anything. Oh, yeah, control... Uh, no, Control uh, should sneak, but you have to hold it. Should be fine if you find a quiet spot. The enemies, they don't follow you that long around. But, uh, yeah, it can be dangerous. Did you guys manage to uh, save your save? Save your save file, or did you have to restart? The Zog peeps. Oh, is that the cave? No, that's a den. Shisa. Hope it's not a wolf den. Doesn't look like a wolf den. You're right back. All right. Yeah, those games pay off when you restart, because <laughs> you have a bit more experience, you you know where to set up. Like, my first village was right on the shore, far from everything. You run out of stone all the time in this game. So far, I've had a lot of annoyance with the, the stone. That's my biggest gripe. My solo game is cool, because I'm right by the cave. And just when I ran out of, uh, started to run out of regular wood, I got the iron and I'm by a birch forest. So that was cool. So satisfying to get your first iron axe. I usually quit these games really early on too. <laughs> I don't play like 20 hours and when it gets too complex I usually quit. But this game I was like, nah, I'm gonna stick to it. Also broken, I don't want to buy more games. And it's fun to be... I don't usually do early access. And the devs seem really responsive, so it's fun to be involved. How much crap do I have? I have a lot of stuff. I guess I could make an axe, just to have... a bit of defense. Ooh, Fiba. There we go. Oh, we chilling. Have you gone through a winter yet on your game? Okay, now I can fight these these bozos. Yeah, get out of my town. Oh, you want some? Yeah, get out of my town. Are you switched after the first winter? Winter's rough. It's really rough, but it really captures what a heavy winter is. 
You I, are you from Europe, if I remember? I don't. I couldn't place your your accents. I wasn't sure. Was but we really got it down now. Nice. I'm at the place at the time where I uh, for my solo game where I it's just my second spring, and I have to start to. Um, my buddy's still alive. Yeah. Start to expand. Expand it too quickly. For me, my first winter, three cabins with six beds each. That was my max. So 18 villagers. That's that's what I wanted to have. Uh, where about in Europe? Get out of here. Netherlands, okay. Oh, I'm thirsty. Sweden. Very cool. So you get the Viking vibe really well, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These guys uh, Ooh, playing co-op game. Uh, onions and garlic uh, heal you. It's one of the best stuff to heal if you get damaged. And on the right, you can see some controls. It's a bit like Souls-like combat with the roll and the um, block is kind of meh, but roll is really good. I want to see the cave. Apparently, there's three caves per map, but they don't have any biome restriction. They can pop in anywhere. So... My f the first one I ever found was right by the water, but in the middle of woods, so it's, it was really hard to build around. The one in my solo game is on a plains, so it's perfect. What's the red dot in front of me? Um, could be an enemy, enemy's eyes. Like north... Uh... Ooh, north. Or is it just the north thingy that's... Oh, scary? yeah, at the top, yeah, that's the um, cardinal. Okay. Oh! Ah, no, that's a spawn point. That's not a cave. Do man. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Oh no, I hear wolves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sucks. Oh, they're running after me! Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure we'll have fun. Uh, we'll be updating this on the YouTube channel, Salt Goblin, if you guys are curious about the base later on. And thanks for stopping. I'll make sure I sub, uh, well, follow to you guys. I'm out of Twitch Prime. <laughs> and uh, come in when you guys are playing as well. Oh my, oh you are so far. But you are so far. Yeah. And uh, all your objects degrade if they're not in storage. So that's food and clothing and armor, except the water skin mm -hmm. a bit of realism there I'm just gonna close the curtain I can't see <laughs> if you press B you'll see all the options for building stuff mm -hmm. they tell you what you need and the first square when you press B materials you'll need to make some stone blade and 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 rope to make your your tools material tools that's another fucking spawn point what are the um, kind of white lines going in the air like wind or something like that yeah that's the wind directions oh. 
it, they they took a lot of inspiration from Valheim, and in Valheim, the wind influenced if the creatures could smell you when you went hunting. Oh. Yeah, and also when you went on the boat. So well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, being full of food and water, you're stronger, you have more stamina. <laughs> Fucking hell. Cave, anyone? Oh. Nah. Cave? No. Where is the stupid cave? Nya, 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 nya. Sh -sh Shut the fuck up. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, that's a nice spot. Oh no, that's monsters. Are those monsters? Oh man, we walked. Oh no. If that's a boss area, yes, that's the undead. Okay, well that's fine. All right, we found it. Yeah, skeletons. Okay. Ah. Okay. Let's go by the shore. Uh, Cause fish and thatch is annoying to find, but we're not too far off. Far out, man. Uh, we could build in here. We have birch over there, and we have the beach over here. All right, very cool. I, I have enough berries, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Got this area here. I don't want to go down there. Oh, we need stone. Okay, we found a cave. We have stone. We have trees. We have stone. We have trees, but that's a lot of birch trees. We need some irregular trees. Ooh, hard decision. Oh, well, that's a, that's a lot of trees. Yeah. That's going to be fine, just fine. Okay, awesome. Awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. Oh. 
I didn't check if there's a lot of stone. Hmm. I think I see some one over there. And one, two, three. That's kind of okay. And there's some over there. All right. I'm back. Hey, I found the cave. Yeah, I saw your uh, you planted a flag or something. Yeah, and uh, just west of the cave, there is a zombie undead spawn spot. So we'll have to be careful with that. But I think it's a good thing to be somewhat close to those, since it kind of gives gives resources. Uh, not really for those undead. Well, um, wolf packs. Sorry. Wolf packs, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they give leather. So I made the first fire, and I'm gonna start building. Burn everything. I said Ooh. building, not burning. Collect, <laughs> collect a sizable amount of berries. Got an achievement. Nice. So, oh yeah, I need to make a home. You need to make hose. Yeah. Fuck, I don't have any stone. Ah, oh, but I made a pickaxe. I'm gonna go break some stone. Break yourself. So, usually when you spawn, there's some Jotun blood, which is the, the blue rocks everywhere. You start with five. You need that to summon villagers, so I took them. But if you play solo, remember to pick up your first five. When you find my base, if you aim at the building sites and you press Q, it's going to show you what needs to be done. And that's also um, how to give priority to your projects for the villagers to help you. Because the villagers are a big part of, um, of the game. Oh, I'm getting a call, so I'm going to go. Yeah. Ah, oh, you made it. Nice. Full. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the first time I see this. Hey, I think that's a very good starting area. We'll see about the stone. Right. Oh, I need sticks. My first how. Let's see if we can make Buddy a hoe as well. Yep. Zug zug. Eh. 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 Eh.
quite stone. I left a hoe on the on the ground for you. You left a hoe on the ground for you. To shelter. Press Z and you'll you'll scan it. Right there. Oh. Oh, if it wasn't from the tooltip, I would have never seen it. Yeah. Now I press Z and you'll you'll it'll scan, he'll flash yellow next time. Oh, you need to make a hammer. Uh you can come here, there's two sticks on the floor, you can make your hammer. Sticks on the floor, I can make hammer. Here, over here. Bark. Sticks. Yeah. Sticks. Get, get two sticks, press B. My two sticks. And then tools. Yep. Wooden hammer. Oh, wooden hammer. Rafter. Ooh. And hammer then, time. And then come here. And then when it's green, all the materials are, are there and we need to build it. And Let's we can. Come here. What do you. Okay, you're here. In and, the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> build. And then yeah, and then we can build it together, and it goes faster. Twice as fast, nice. So we're building up a shelter. So if you press Q, remember you'll you'll see what needs to be uh, brought when you aim the construction site. Unpin, pin recipe, unpin. Yeah. Just pin, and at the top left, you'll see the the recipes. Ah, oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, you can have five, and the top one is what the um, the builders will prioritize once we get a um, a villager. It requires. You can get a long stick here. <laughs> bark, bark. So you cut Red. the tree, and then you you chop them into long sticks. Don't forget to always fucking spam Z, like, constantly. You'll need to change your Z key after a month. And then you can press E to carry the, the long stick. And I'm gonna grab the other sticks. Long stick. And then you can bring it over there. There's some shrubs that give sticks as well if you want to make your uh, your own uh, axe. And you can drop okay, so it in. You press R to drop it on. So I have it on. Okay, R. Supply. Yeah, I did it faster. Ha <laughs> ha! You R can put it on the anything. rain collector. Because I, I was faster. Well, you can drop it on the rain collector. It just disappeared. No, it's there on the floor. What? Oh, okay. Now the grass is way too high for us yeah. to see anything. That's why you just spam Z anytime you want to look at the floor. So you can take that long stick and drop it on the rain collector. And it'll, it'll contribute. Rain collector. Pick up. And drop it on. R. Nothing happens. Yeah, you put it in and you put the sticks that you were holding in as well. It's just not finished, so it's not completely. Where are my done. sticks? Your sticks were added uh, automatically to the recipe when you press R to the rain collector oh, okay. stuff. Disappear inside. Yeah. Okay. This build, uh, this stuff here, the dwarf spruce, that's what gives you sticks if you don't have a, an axe. The bush in front of me. And that boosts your gathering as well. 
So you could make uh, you could try. I'll give you a mission. Try to make an axe. Look at your recipes. I'll leave you alone. If you have questions, I'm there for you. Bark, bark. I need stone blades. Yeah. And stone blades, you make those from uh, materials, the first box in B. Yeah, but I don't have stones. I need stones to make stone sticks. There, yeah. There's a few around, and there's a lot on the beach. The beach, uh, if you go north, you'll see the, the beach. There might be some um, some enemies. All right, we finished the first shelter, so now we can make the Eye of Odin. Do you want me to wait or you want me to set it up? No, don't wait for me, I'm still learning. Okay. And I'm eating at the same time. All right. Ooh, I have a big rock. Oh yeah, because I, I destroyed some rocks. Uh, we do need it for the Eye of Odin, so that's good. Uh, I will. I'll put it here, because this thing uh, attracts enemies, so I don't want it. How do I drop the rock? Uh, I think R. Nope. Nope. Nothing's happening. Or E. No. Oh, if I eat something, it drops it. <laughs> Probably the same button you use to pick it up. What you eating? I'm eating chicken rice with vegetables. Nice. Yeah, something simple that I know my daughter won't do. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, she's done school, so she was with you all day. Uh, day um, day camp. Okay. Those used to terrify me when I was a kid. Day camp. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. yeah, there's a few bully, and oddly, yeah. one of them is a guy that was in her um her uh, kindergarten class, and yeah, that sucks. He's bullying her now. Fuck. Yeah, fucker. But I was like, I told the guy at the camp, I'm like, what about that guy? Is he, uh, he's like, yeah, we know. There's a lot of problem with this guy. He oh, has yeah. a, like, it's the third day and he already has a, like a track record of dossier and Jesus. meet up with the parents and everything. Like, oh, oh, hey. So I have something to show you. I don't want to see your dick again. Look, I have an axe. Nice. I have an axe. <laughs> All right, so this will help us get a bit of water. Then here is the Eye of Odin. That's the stuff to summon. I'm at the top here. The stuff to summon um, the villagers. And these plants are like the most fucking important stuff. They give you f fiber that lets you make rope. You need rope all the fucking time. It's so fucking annoying. So whenever you see some, grab it. We can automate that so that the villagers can look for it. But it's still never enough. <laughs> I'm going to find small stones by the beach for the to finish the Odin stuff. Oh, can she hear me if I swear? No, you're in my earphones. Okay. She's watching TV.
Alright, I have the small stones. And now that we have um, a fireplace, mm -hmm. it'll appear on the at the top on the map, unless you go too far out. Right. Or I can remove the checkpoint. And then, um, uh, one thing that's good to do early, if you press B, and then uh, where do you make the tools? There's the option to terrain level field. That's kind of good to, to do it early, but it's also kind of messy. <laughs> we don't need to do it right away, but... Terrain level field. Oh, okay, to build stuff afterwards. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll drop some stuff on the floor. I'll show you a mechanic, okay? Mm -hmm. So I just dropped five... Jotun Bloods. You can grab him. Yeah. Ah, shit. We need uh, one more. We need two large stones to finish the Eye of Odin. I'll get the other one. Uh, where was it? Did I only make one? No, it's here. J'ai trouvé du moche. Oh, ça va faire buzzer si tu marches. Oh, nice! Let's go for realism. Large stone. Can you grab that stone by the, the hut, please? Yeah. Stick it on there. Nice. Nice. Then you can press E on the Eye of Odin. And then you can right click on the the blue rocks. It's going to put it in the storage yeah. of the eye. And then you click on right. the... Yeah. And what does it do? Well, I don't... It seems like you didn't activate it. R to activate. Muran Astrid? Ah, yeah, you need to pick the villager that will come and live the with us. One is like a priest and stormforge, the other one is bear power and stonebreaker. Bear power yeah, sounds go. good. Yeah, let's go with that. Nice. So now, under the map on the right, you see time until the arrival of the next villager. So, we don't really need shelter, we can sleep in there. Uh, to gain a bit of energy and to get like a, a, a stamina boost. Uh, in winter we'll need shelter but mostly it's for them to not be homeless. And you see there's an exclamation point over that means that there's no villager assigned to it yet. Mm -hmm. So now we only have one villager so we only need one shelter. I just got my boost. You can try to go in and you'll see there's like a, a yellow stuff that'll start going around. And once that's full, you get your energized. I see the cooldown. Huh? Yeah, it's like the same cooldown from where you're picking up stuff. Cut. Yeah, exactly. Mm, give me five minutes, I'll have to be sure. away for a second. No worries. <coughs> so he has an axe, so I can go... I ha- and my axe! So I can go get the stone.
Surfeur de Waterwell. I wish there was more music. Shloopy doop beep boop. Day two. Or day three? So we're not too far behind. And we are two um, humans, so even if we're a bit behind on villager gathering, we are better than villagers, I think. Stone Harvest 7. All right, that's enough. All right. Men's out of the way. Hey, what up? All right. So, what are you building now? <laughs> I'm making a well. Um. There's a few things we can do. We can try to gather Jotun blood so that we always have a um, villager incoming. Mm -hmm. We can try to set up the village. You can uh, maybe s choose which... Uh... Oh yeah, so real quick, you see those long sticks? Mm -hmm. If you hold R, you'll harvest them into smaller sticks and bark. The bark, you can also harvest into fiber. Yeah, the fiber I knew it. And even faster, if you pick up all the, f the bark, then you open your inventory. If you mm -hmm. left click and shift at the same time on the bark, it'll make it fiber. It's the fastest way to harvest all that shit. So inventory. And then hover over the bark. Yeah. Shift and click. Shift and left click, yeah. And you won't see it, but it'll add fiber at the top part of your inventory. Yeah, I just see it disappear and I don't see any rope. No, oh, no fiber is okay, so. Yeah, that's it. It's fiber first. And then you make f rope out of fiber. Okay, so I can do four ropes. Do we need it for something? Um, probably to make your tools. Like if you want a pickaxe and stuff like that. And probably to make buildings. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Those are super important for obviously water, but uh, farming and all that stuff too. Now... I want to stay away from the cave south because there's the base, the monster base. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is that we make a woodcutter hut where I'm standing. Where are you? Just behind okay. you. If you press B. Mm -hmm. And then the fist icon. Basic production. Yeah. Want me to do something? Yeah, can you set up a woodcutter hut, please? Woodcutter pit? Sure. I need long sticks. But you have to set up the, um, the frame yeah, first. Okay, so B. Tools. Uh, no, that's not the Brain. right thing. You don't need to uh, to 
to terraform first. Just B and then uh, woodcutter pit. Nice, and then you can press Q and it'll add uh, if you want a reminder of what you need to do. Okay. So, when a villager comes in, if they don't have a role, they'll automatically start building. So they'll look for the right resources and they'll add it to whatever building uh, is in the queue. Yeah, there's a way to do priorities, I think. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If, if you pin it, your recipe, the first one will be their priority. Oh, and that's what you were saying in the stream, that it doesn't show for the other one. Yeah, that's it. And then... Um, And then, uh, if you don't want them to be a builder, then you can uh, you can assign them to a workplace. Uh, do we need large stone? Just long stick. Okay. When you stare at the when you aim at the trees, you'll see the big trees. Yeah, what it gives you. The, yeah, the big trees give logs, but we need a bigger axe for that, and the young fur gives long stick. Ah, oh, shit, I just broke my axe. <laughs> uh, firewood, is there something we can do with that? Uh, you, you stick it in the fire. Yeah, like, we can't break it down into... Unfortunately, stick. no. Which was one complaint I had, because at one point you have so much firewood just littered everywhere but it's actually good because when you reach like the advanced production line you need tons of firewood and it comes really handy that there's already a shit ton just laying around a stone axe don't i have a stone axe can i cut wood with a stone axe yeah why is it not working well where are you aiming So logs is too big. You need uh, the smaller trees, the young fir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aha! I'm gonna get it. And does it fall on the side that you're cutting it? Or? I don't. I've never paid attention, but it doesn't hurt. It's not like Valheim. Hey, stone cutter pit is done. Ah, uh, the wood cutter pit. Next mission is find a uh, maybe the gatherer is better. All right, I'll set up a gatherer. If you want, you can walk around uh, spamming spamming Z until you find a, a place with a lot of um, a lot of stone, and then set up a stone pit. Hey, Marin arrived, our first villager. So they come in with basic tools usually. If you press J, you'll have a lot of more information. I'm just trying to figure out. I finished that building. Okay, I'm just trying to deposit. Okay, it's deposit already. Can I deposit? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Put a tree in the thing for the tree. There you go. Satisfying. And see, yes. he's he's doing the, she's doing the terraforming, for us. And then he'll go get the stick that you just put in. Boop. Look at that, and he's gonna bring it. Nice. Make sure you always have food and water, because you're stronger when you're f well fed. Mm -hmm. Putting in firewood. And um, yeah, when you when you have a sec, let me know. I'll show you something else. Okay, there's some stone here.
Okay. All right. Uh, settlement issues. What's going on? Some of your villages are homeless. Build a house. Ah, yeah. So you can go aim at the shelter with the exclamation mark. Manage. Yeah. Or shelter menu. I think both. Sign. Ta da! Okay, is there something else? 100% of structure are defenseless. No shit. No food production building in the settlement. Build a food production building to avoid starvation. Yeah, so Thank I'm. You for the I, wise. <laughs> I already set up the gatherer hut. I think he's already done building it. Mm -hmm. And I set down a, a stone cutter area as well. And right now I'm looking for Jotun blood so that I can summon the, the second villager. Well, I've put a, tons of things in storage. Which we have storage? In the woods? No, the storage uh, here, which is called Veggie Basket Gathering Pit. Ah, yeah, that's the, the gatherer stuff. Is so, there a place to put the firewood? Not really, we need it it's later. Uh, this guy is good at stone breaking. Wind Rider, okay. My suggestion would be to uh, make him a gatherer because we'll need a lot of food. Good idea, no clue how. So, uh, just like when you went to the shelter, you can go to the gatherer pit and open the menu. Uh, open storage. Okay. Well, not storage, management. But there should be a few tabs of the building at the top, I think. Mm -hmm. And then the same assign him. Assign worker. Assign. Proficient collecting and woodworking stone in various processes. Yeah. Skills and crafting items. He's not super good at that, but it's he's gonna develop the skills, so it's it's okay. Mm-hmm. And once he's assigned, he'll go look around. Um, Did I build a barbecue? Yes. But they'll need. We'll need somebody to man it. But uh, actually, a fire cover first is also good. Oh. Where the fuck am I? Ooh, I found another spawn point. This structure has unbuilt add-ons. Yeah. So if you sticks and ropes. So I got the rope. Just need sticks. Oh, I have the Jolton blood. I'll go do that. I basically want to have as many villagers as I can until I get 18 before the first winter. <laughs> 